a supporter from the home section ran onto the pitch after 10 minutes of the second City Derby between Birmingham and Aston Villa. Wearing a cap, he approached the unsuspecting Villa star from behind before swinging at him and sending him to the floor. The man was led away by stewards and blew kisses at the crowd as Grealish showed restraint and refused to retaliate. He responded in the best way possible by scoring what proved to be the only goal of the game in the 67th minute. Former Wimbledon star Jones was famous for his no-nonsense approach to the game and is set to appear on the radio tomorrow morning to give his take on the shocking scenes at St Andrews. Tune into TalkSport tomorrow morning from 6.30 a.m. for my views on the weekend action including how I would have handled the Grealish incident, he said on Twitter. West Midlands police have since confirmed a man has been arrested, while the EFL issued a statement condemning the actions and Birmingham have issued an apology to Grealish. The midfielder was Villa captain for the day and was diplomatic in his own response as he preferred to concentrate on his winning strike. To come here for the first time as captain of Aston Villa and then score the winner it's what dream are made of, especially being an Aston Villa fan," Grealish said. On the incident specifically, he added, I was just unaware at the time. I think we had a corner error throw in and I was walking into position when I felt a whack around the side of my face. Obviously there is rivalry in football but I don't think there is any place for that really. I just try and get on with my job in the end and I thought I did. I scored the winner and we came away with all three points. It was unbelievable in front of our fans. After what happened in the first half I think it was set up for it. Captaining the club here is something I dreamed of since I was a kid.